What up, y'all? This your boy Ace here. Welcome to Afternoon's Delight. And so we're going back into the vault again. And we're going to be uh, watching some more Abby Steiner film. But this time we're going a little bit further back than what I showed y'all the last few time, uh, last few episodes. Or the first few episodes, rather. Where we was watching Abby and Nationals coverage. Now we're watching Abby as a high schooler so we're gonna go all the way back to the beginning where she was just a little pup uh back in 2016 and she was doing a 4x200 relay at the ohio state meet um uh, i think down in columbus i believe this was down in columbus uh where she's from uh obviously she uh she raced for uh dublin kaufman um high school and uh you know, her team won this event. So we're going to actually, this is actually the first time I, uh, I think this is the very first race I've ever seen of Abby Steiner. Now she made the news this year too. So I actually want to play that clip for you guys. So, uh, I'm going to go ahead and play that fair use here. Um, uh, because I'm going to have the, the audio volume on. I'm going to let you guys watch that first and then we'll come back. Student at Dublin Kaufman who was fighting leukemia. She emerged healthy, in part thanks to tremendous family support. Her younger sister, Abby, followed Riley's athletic footsteps at Kaufman. But now she's planning to run places no Ohio female sprinter's ever gone. Audrey Hassan explains. All right, runners to your marks. Abby Steiner loves the anticipation. The nervous anxiety as she steps into the blocks to start a race. Hey. Uh, I hate it. I mean, I love it, but I hate it at the same time. A lot of times in the blocks, I have to talk to myself when I'm in that set position, raise. I have to tell myself, like, just wait for the gun, wait for the gun. Bang. A year ago, she won the state championship in the 200 meters as a freshman. Knowing that I have that title, and if I ever feel, like, nervous before a race, I can use that for confidence. But Abby aims for much more. I think what motivates me most is the goals that I set for myself. And she's written those goals down on paper and keeps them close. So I'll go back to them and look at them. If I ever don't want to go to practice, I'll be like, oh, but I, I'm working towards this and I have this end goal in sight. She already broke the indoor state records and now she aims to beat the outdoor state record in the 100 and 200 meters. Oh my God, like how fast was that? Sometimes with Abby, you'll just see it's like, oh my God, she just won a 200 meters by 20 meters. You just got to stop and appreciate it. I mean, it still hasn't really set in that I have those records. Like, it won't set in for a while. Audrey Hassan, NBC4 Sports. You have regional meets coming up this Whoa. week. The state meet is next week. She's got to run about mid-23s in the 200, uh, about 11.59 in the 100 meters to break the existing state record. She can do both. She, in fact, broke both in a dual meet earlier this year. We might see so, her at the Olympics someday. I'm telling you, the, it's, the, the potential's there. She's an outstanding performer for such an early age. Again, just a sophomore. Wow. Yeah, that's great. We'll take another look at the forecast, but first, here's Jimmy Fallon with a look at what's next on The Tonight Show. All right, so you guys got a chance to see the very young Abby Steiner there, 16-year-old, sweet 16, Abby Steiner. And so... Let's uh now let's watch this uh this little relay race here and uh see what happens here. So this is the four by two hundred, which they did this morning the pros, these four by two hundreds. They're very fun to watch. Um and you can see where the legend of Abby Steiner goes. So we're gonna go on ahead, hit play. Dublin Kaufman is is in green. You see uh uh the first girl here, I think her name was uh Wambi Watane, uh, the white girl right here in green, because that's what they were racing in. So you see, she get a baton. So now we're on the second leg. So this is Shannon Downey, who gets the baton here. And you can see Dublin Kaufman still lagging way behind. And right now, whoever this orange team is, they're up right now. So third leg here. And it's still up. So this is uh, Shaquiza Stevens right now, who has the baton for Dublin Kaufman. And just keep an eye on it because Abby's about to get the baton coming up. And look where they're placed. They're like right in the middle of your screen, green. Abby's about to get it right here. Here we go. 
So Abby now has the baton. And look at the speed for Dublin Kaufman. Look at Green. Look at Green. Look at little Abby Steiner go right here. The 16-year-old Abby Steiner. Look at her and Green right in the middle of your screen, y'all. Look at her. They were... Look at, she's not in second. She's pulling away from the girl that was in third. Here he goes. She passes her. Oh, my God. What a bro. This is what we're talking about, bro. Bro, the hype is real on Abby Steiner, bro. Bro, I don't know how you can watch this and not be, you a straight hater if you still hating on Abby Steiner right now. After seeing that, you a straight hater, man. I don't know what to say about you. You ain't a real, you ain't a real fan of track if you didn't appreciate that. The 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 closing speed on this girl, man. When she chases you down, you're not safe. I believe this was with Roll. The girl name is Mercedes Smith. So shout out to Mercedes Smith if she's watching this video. She was the one I believe that got chased down by Abby here. And orange on Withrow. And uh, it, it's crazy, man. It's just, it's crazy how far back they were, too, like, at that point. And how much ground Abby had to make up. This is why when I be telling people, like, oh, man, Abby didn't, Abby was the reason why they won those relay races. Then explain this right here, bro. Without Abby, they're not winning shit. Withrow had this. Look how far out. Uh, I'm about to play this, guys. Let, let me let me go back and play this. Let me go back and play this. Hold on. Let me go back. I'm trying to get it to where Abby gets the baton. Okay, hold on. Let me so that I remember. I'm going to put it at the one-minute mark right here. Okay, so. All right. So, Abby, as I said, they're in the middle of the screen. So, watching it right now, look how big the lead with her head. We're going to play this one last time. I played it with the audio right there. I wanted y'all to hear the audio because the fans were uh, amazing right here. So now I'm going to talk over this part. So here we go. Abby gets the baton. And see, because Abby has a, uh, a, a, a problem out of the blocks, she's so naturally fast when she doesn't have to deal with the blocks. That's why I said she just got to finish that up. And she'll be good to go. Now, I want to show something. I got to go back a little bit. I got to go back. I got to go back a little bit. Because uh, I was talking. I kind of got distracted there. So, we're going to go back a little bit. Okay, let's go back to the one minute mark. All right. Here we go. Okay. So, Abby right in the middle. She's about to get the baton. Doubling Kaufman. Abby getting it right here. I don't know if y'all can see her. I'm trying to zoom it in for y'all. There go Abby right there. She's in fourth place right now. That's where she's at. That's when she got the baton. I believe she was in fourth place. Look at how much ground she had to make up on Withrow. One thing I was pointing out was how much ground Withrow had on everybody else before Abby Steiner came into the play. This is why this is the number one Buckeye girl in the state of Ohio of all time in track. Because of that, what she did right there. Caught up. This girl... You couldn't have asked for a better lead than what Withrow had. And Dublin Kaufman came back just like that. 
straight up amazing. Her closing speed is something else. You can't teach it. Guys, Abby Steiner is amazing. She is the real deal, man. That was an amazing race. That was fun, wasn't it, rewatching that? That was very fun to watch that. That was very fun watching that, guys. I hope y'all enjoyed this whole little film session. Go ahead and hit that like button for me. Definitely hit the like button. Share the video. Subscribe to the channel, especially if you're new in the zoo. Any comments y'all got, definitely put them below. And if you want to donate to the channel, hit that super thanks button below. I much appreciate it. Uh, shout out to David Close for that $10 dono. He uh, sent that a couple of weeks ago. Uh, like I said, uh, for some of y'all, y'all might not be hearing me too well on these mics. Hey. All proceeds for any donation is going to go to a new mic. Nothing else I'm going to throw it into because I won't be able to get a new mic for a few months. So if y'all don't want to have to put your headphones on, donate, man. I'm telling you, it's going to go straight to getting a new mic. And also, you can hit me up on the Cash App. I get the money quicker that way through the Cash App. Uh, dollar sign sack exchange. That's what y'all can send it to. But and in this video, Abby Steiner, you saw her at 16 years old. And I love watching her from back then because she was wilder and more undisciplined, bro. Like, she was just like a like a wild animal, bro, the way she used to run, bro. Like, it was just so reckless. <laughs> it was so reckless, bro. Like, it, dude, I mean, <laughs> it's crazy, man, watching the, the little version of Abby, bro. Like, it, it's crazy, man. That girl has some type of serious speed that it just you can't duplicate it, bro. You can't duplicate the type of speed she got, bro. You just can't. It's amazing, man. I'm going to see y'all in the next session. We're going to do another high school race next. Um, not sure which one is going to be just yet, but, but we're definitely doing another high school race. And we're going to mix in because I think I'm not just going to do high school straight through. I think we're going to do a, a college race. Uh, I'm going to try to find one of her older college races, too. I want to find one of her, like, if I can, one of her freshman season races or something like that. I want to try to find one of the the earlier races. So we'll see how that goes, man. But thank you guys for watching. After News Delight.